Hey, my name is Paul. Uh, welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to have a look at how you might move a boat like this to the water from where you've inflated it from using a combination of your transom wheels, which are invaluable, and perhaps a nose wheel. Um, we're specifically, we're going to look at two different types of nose wheel today. This one made by a company called Compass 24. And this one, which is a Railblazer Sea Tug. They both do slightly different things. They both have pros and cons. And the purpose of the video is to look at both of them and see which one might suit you best. A full disclaimer, I bought these myself. Uh, I use them both for different, slightly different things. So uh, let's see if this video might help you. So why bother with nose wheels at all? Well, there's a few reasons really. So when this boat is totally empty, the nose weight, the weight that I would have to lift at the front of this boat before I go anywhere is about 25 kilos. By the time I've kitted out the boat with my anchor, with my ropes, with my lunch for the day, maybe some fishing stuff, fuel, that can increase to maybe 35 kilos, I would say this is now. Actually adding an outboard to the back doesn't make the slightest bit of difference because the weight is all over the pivot point. Um, so in terms of nose weight, that doesn't really change. So not only have you then got to lift 35 kilos, you've then got to pull the combined weight of the boat as well, which does include the outboard. And for a boat like this, you're talking just over 100 kilos by the time you've loaded it up. So that's a quite a significant weight to both bear to bear on your arms if you're using the handles or on your shoulders and back if you're using something like this as a as a sort of a, a shoulder strap. Now I have done it. I've taken this boat from where we live here down to the slipway by the river, which is just under a, a, a kilometer. Uh, and I've done it there and I've done it back and I never want to do it again. So for me, that was the decision point. I need something to go at the front of this boat to take the weight and to allow me to focus on just getting the push behind the boat to make it move along. And, uh, and, and that's why we ended up buying some nose wheels. So you, you might ask, why is it we've got two and why are we doing this video today to compare the two? Well, we've actually ended up with two because we have two different use cases. The first use case is that we live, uh, as I've said, about a kilometer away from a slipway that takes us into the River Thames where we live. And the River Thames is a brilliant place to pootle up and down the river and enjoy a picnic, pub stop, etc., etc. Uh, it's much easier to inflate the boat here at home and then take it to the river than it is to try and find somewhere to park near the marina, blow the boat up, drop it in the river, then when you come off the water, have to deflate it, put it back in the car, etc. It's much easier to do it all at home. And that way I don't even have to deflate it if I don't want to when I get home. I could just pop it straight in the garage. So I need something that will allow me to take this boat, wheel it over a kilometer down to the river. And so that's where I use the, the wheels from Compass. On the other hand, a use case, I take this boat uh, with my wife to the seaside and we have a camper van and therefore we need something that's small that will fit in our camper van because we can't take the, those big compass wheels with us and so that's where we use the sea tug wheels um, as i've said pros and cons to both so we'll go through some of those and, uh, and and let you make up your own mind about what could be useful for you We're going to break this down into a few different steps. So we'll look at how easy it is to install the wheels uh, and then we'll look at what sort of maneuverability uh, challenges you might have, what the, what easy bits, what the difficult bits. Uh, then we'll have a look in more detail at the actual wheels themselves so you can see exactly how they're made and how they uh, come to bits in the, cases of the, in the case of the sea tug to make it easier for transporting. And then I'll give you kind of my final views and, uh, and you, can, uh, you can make up your own minds after that. All right, let's have a look at installing the Compass 24 wheels. 
these are the easiest ones to fit. Uh, you offer the wheels up to the front of the boat. There's, an, there's a fitting on the boat which comes with the Hon Wave. It's, uh, it's just a, a cleating off point and there's a fitting on here. And all you do is you join the two together. So you lift the boat up and it's as simple as that. Those are now good to go. So ease of manoeuvring. A um, couple of things. So these are great at going in straight lines. So, you know, I can push the boat this way. I can pull the boat past, back this way. And if you don't mind a bit of squeaking, it's all good. Um, turning corners, you just have to be quite gentle. Uh, by that, I mean something like this. Absolutely fine. Same different direction. If you want to turn around a real sharp corner, you, you're best off kind of not doing that. <laughs> because as soon as you take this beyond that point there, the boat becomes unstable. So you've kind of got to take the weight of the boat and you've kind of got to move it this way. So there's a knack to it. But <clears throat> it does work. So there's some pretty tight turns between here and the river and uh, copes fine. The way we work this is that uh, typically my wife is at the front of the boat, kind of walking this way and really kind of steering more than anything else. And then I go to the back of the boat where the outboard is and kind of push and, and give the power. And that tends to work great. Um, when I'm maneuvering the boat around at home, I can, I'm fine to do that. If I had to do that for a kilometer on my own, I probably could. Um, and you could probably push it from the back and let it go straight for a, for a reasonable distance, actually. So, you know, it's, um, there's compromises, of course, but this, I think, is a really good solution uh, if you've got the space for, for something like this to be, to be stored with the boat. Uh, when we launch this in the river, we just lock this to a railing. So it's much easier to manage than a trailer would be at a marina, for example. So let's have a look at the sea tug. Um, the sea tug is, uh, is actually not designed to do the job that we're going to use it for now. Um, it's actually a kayak trolley, but uh, it does work really quite well. Um, it's much more fiddly to attach, as you're about to see. and. Uh, but let's see how let's just see how difficult it is. So let's have a look. So issue number one, as you can see. So if this falls over, we've got to start again. It's not too bad. It needs to come over a little bit further to the left. Quite a lot more. So in terms of placement, <clears throat> you want to get this um, obviously um, to the rear of the point where your uh, hull begins to slope up. 
uh, which is just about where I've got it now, just in front of the uh, thwart on this boat. And then what we now do is take these Okay. So that wasn't too bad, was it? Um, not quite as easy as the compass ones, but they're on. Uh, you have to pull this really quite tight. Um, so you wouldn't want to leave this on there all the time. Um, but to get you from where you've inflated your boat to, uh, to the water, uh, this looks all right, doesn't it? So, how manoeuvrable is the boat once it's got the sea tug wheels fitted? Uh, the answer is it's pretty manoeuvrable, uh, very similar to the compass wheels. Um, so, moving forward, moving backwards, very similar. Uh, in terms of changing direction, what we found is that the best way to do it is to literally lift the boat in the direction that you want to go. So, lift, move in this direction. Lift, move it in this direction. You'll notice that obviously uh, the seat hook doesn't have any handle, so you've got to use some part of the boat, uh, which could be one of these handles, could be the boat itself with this rope here. Um, so where will do we use these wheels? Well we've used these wheels specifically when we take our camper van uh, because they uh, the one massive advantage they have over the compass wheels is that they are very small, they can be taken to bits, they can fit in a cupboard in our van. Uh, once we have launched the boat they can also be chucked right in the front of the boat here and they're not in the way so we don't have to worry about locking wheels to railings or whatever um, so very safe and uh, and, and that's great and, and very transportable how far have we actually wheeled the boat with these wheels well probably about 400 meters maybe uh, from our camper van along a, uh, a grass track uh, which had plenty of bumps and stuff in it and onto a little tarmac road and then onto a sort of a gravelly track down to the slipway. So yeah, about 400 meters, I would guess. And it coped with it absolutely fine. So for a closer look at the Compass 24 nose wheels, starts with the handle at the top there, which leads on to the bracket, which clips to the bow towing point on your sib. Uh, the hull of the boat then sits on these two parallel bars, which have got a plastic protective cover on. And then that leads down to the two pneumatic tires. The whole unit is very robust, um, but it only breaks down a little bit. So the tires, the, sorry, the wheels will come off, um, but that's it. Okay, so now let's have a look at the Sea Tug from Railblazer. Um, as I said earlier, this is a kayak uh, trolley, and it's quite cool because you can adjust the pitch of these two to really fit the hull of your boat or kayak. Um, it has a stand as you can see here which really helps uh, when you are trying to uh, place your boat on the 
trolley itself. Um, obviously, if you don't have that stand, it's just going to fall over. Uh, and you would have seen earlier how uh, how, how annoying that is uh, when that happens. The ratchet strap that comes with it is actually not this one. It's a shorter one, and so I just stuck a, a longer one on to reach around the, the Hon Wave. Um, the wheels are solid um, and uh, quite broad, uh, so they, they would be pretty good on sand, I would imagine, although we haven't tried it, but we have tried it on grass and gravel and it works fine. Um, there is another version of it, I think, which has got different types of wheels, so that would be worth having a look at, depending on where you intend to launch. Um, it's made uh, out of heavy duty plastic, it's really well put together. Um, but it's big USP, it's big selling point is that it comes to bits and uh, I'll give you a quick demo of how that works now. So uh, these uh, pieces on the top here just pop off and so they get to that position there. Uh, the wheels themselves, as you can see, there is a um, there's a little catch which pulls off that way and a little catch goes off that way there's your two wheels now this actually does break in half although to be fair i can't actually remember how to do it but it does uh, you can kind of see that it's made up of two pieces and it sort of does come apart um, but we never do uh, that is quite small enough now to pop in the boat together with the two wheels and the pads and uh, that's a closer look at the sea tug. So we've reached the end of the video. Uh, thank you for staying around this long. Um, we've got two great products. I hope you'll agree. Two really useful nose wheels um, that I wouldn't be without. Uh, just to conclude then on each one of them. So the, the Compass 24, extremely well made. Um, very easy to install and to take off and uh, very manoeuvrable with the boat on. The Sea Tug, equally well made, a uh, bit more challenging to install, uh, really easy to take off, um, equally manoeuvrable as the Compass. Its big difference and its big USP is the fact that it can be taken with you when you go in the boat, so as is or taken to pieces as you saw. So it really comes down to those, those two differences. Um, do you want something that is uh, easy to take with you uh, and, and perhaps a little more challenging to put on? Or do you want something that you're happy to leave at the marina or a campsite or wherever it is you happen to be, um, but it's super easy to install and take off? And that really is the, that really is the only deciding difference between them in my view. Uh, I'm really fortunate that I can have both. Uh, I actually do use the sea tug with kayaks as well, so it has a double benefit for me. Um, but even if I didn't have kayaks, I'd be really happy with it because it fulfills a purpose which this one can't. Um, if you've had some value from this video, please leave a like. Uh, if you'd like to see any future videos from me in this general area, then give me a comment in the comment section and uh, feel free to share this video. I will link up uh, a couple of other videos that I've done, which I hope you'll find interesting as well. All right, you take care. Cheers.